Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have Bitcoin crypto market news as we have the FOMC meeting and the interest rates. Are they going to get increased by 0.25? We are going to see. This is the side, right? And into the side, I have premium benefits that you can click in the monthly subscription right here. You will get prompt to a PayPal link. I have the link of the website in the description box. And of course, you can find it down. If you read more in the description, you will see BillMindYourCrypto.com. You have the one year subscription and the newly added one to one trading course via Telegram Live. What is that? It consists of five Telegram courses, one to one, one hour. Okay, so you will have five hours of total. We can do it whenever you want. So the hour is up to you to be scheduled. And we can make, for example, two hours one day or two the other day or one hour the next day. So we will end it or we can do it one hour to one hour. Whenever you want, it's one time purchase. And of course, you can click the buy now so you can get into the PayPal or pay with credit card on anything you would really like. Let's go right now to see a little bit of Bitcoin. Right here, Bitcoin is going sideways, getting rejected from the 200-day moving average. It works as a very hugely important resistance level. You can see right here that we have it, and therefore it is the only problem that we are facing right now. In other words, Bitcoin into the daily frame has been going sideways from the 20-day MA and the 50-day MA as well. Today, we have the FOMC meeting. And what else do we have? We also have the interest rates. Will they get increased by 0.25? Will they stay as they are? Okay, because as we have the news, Biden doesn't want to do anything with the debt. So he doesn't want to do anything with the sailing debt. Okay, so anyway, Biden right here, according to the news, we should have the default. Okay, but to me personally, this could be could be a little bit tricky. I will explain what will happen if we get negative, positive, or neutral news. So what will happen if we get neutral news? Bitcoin is bullish in the weekly scale. It is bullish in the higher time frames. I think that we are getting, we are going to get a more bullish pump into the 32,000 USD. So if the, um, actually it is neutral because we have a forecast of 0.25 increase, right? If the increase happens by 0.25, it is bad in the economy overall, but it is not quite bad. I mean that it is neutral. If we have something like 0.5, then expect, first of all, negative news, right? Negative news, expect a pump and then a huge dump. Okay, so what happens usually into the negative news? We have the fake out to the upside and then we are going down. We are going strongly down. What happens though, if we have some very, very nice news and we have some positive news that we had not increased in the interest rates, which would be the case that if we have that, then this would pump the market, right? If we have that, then what Bitcoin is going to do, it is eventually dump and then pump. Have an insane pump, but first it is going to dump, right? So right now, what we are seeing in the lower time frames is a sideways price action and a possible, possible bullish pennant. So you can see back here, that we are having a triangle formation from this top, okay? If you go up here, all right, in the one hour frame and you connect the bottom trend lines, you connect the top trend lines as well, you will see that we had a little bit of a price, nice price action right here, but we fall down from it, okay? So we got rejected from the 200 day moving average in the one hour frame, and then we went back down to the triangle. So this could work out as a neutral one, or this could work out as a bullish pennant. Um, the formation, to be honest with you, doesn't seem like to me a huge bullish pennant, but it could be a bullish pennant, right? But anyway, it is a neutral triangle. This is what we get from the time being, but because it is after an uptrend, could work out pretty, pretty well as a bullish pennant, depending 
on the news. So this is what we are waiting for right now. Some of you would argue that this top trend line, for example, this one right here should go there. I do not think so, but either way, we have some hours until the FOMC meeting where we are going to see the huge price pump or huge price dump. You will see that Bitcoin right now is just um, going sideways pretty, pretty much nothing, nothing special. On the other hand, if we go to Ethereum against USDT, Ethereum is going to follow the Bitcoin trend. Um, now altcoins are a little bit uh, worse than Bitcoin, which means that whenever Bitcoin is dropping, altcoins are dropping quite more, okay, because of the Bitcoin's dominance. The Bitcoin's dominance, though, as you can see right here, it is uh, looking like it has into the weekly scale a very huge risk. At the same time, though, the price analysis is looking great for Bitcoin to pump more. You can see the Bitcoin's dominance is increasing and in all the time it is increasing as well. And we had a very confident cross between the 20-day May and the 50-day May and the 200-day moving average, which we saw back here into the bull cycle. Look at that right now, okay, when the bull cycle would have already started. Right here, we had a very sideways price action into the bull cycle. But anyway, the Bitcoin's dominance is increasing. That's why Bitcoin is right now leading the way while altcoins bleed when Bitcoin corrects a little bit. While Bitcoin pumps, altcoins do not do much. I'm going back to BTC. So um, to me personally, what I think the outcome will be, the outcome will be either no hike or 0.25, most probably the 0.25, and the market will act kind of neutral. What I mean by that is that we are going to see um, a momentum if we have the interest hike rates of a little bit dump, then a little bit bump, then going sideways until we have the price pump that I'm expecting Bitcoin to reach the 32,000 Tether USD. Do not forget to join our monthly subscription. Go to the BillMindYourCrypto.com. I have the link in the description box or to Patreon if you want to the one-to-one -one trading scalping strategy, which is everyday trading scalping. You do not have to worry about if the market is bearish or bullish. We just take profits every day and exit the market. Of course, it is more expensive, but trust me, the expensive things sometimes have great quality. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and see you soon. Bye.